So the drone I am flying is the DJI Mavic Air, which is, um, it's an older model than the Mini. It's a much pricier drone. It's about $400 more, so that makes it around $800 of a drone. But it's definitely worth it. It's a very powerful drone. It has about 30 minutes of battery life and a really powerful distance, like so far that you probably can't even go like you have to keep it in sight so you're gonna it can go further than you can see so you gotta make sure you're always looking at it um, it's got optic um, obstacle avoidance which is very powerful um, you can turn that on and off for some reason the setting when you first go in is off so you want to turn that on and when that goes it will avoid objects I'm pretty sure from looking at this that that has a little bit of the same thing it has the fine home but this doesn't quite have as good as optical avoidance as this. And that's definitely a key feature. Um, it can save you from a lot of crashes. The only thing it really doesn't save you from is uh, power. power lines. But I've, you know, I've talked about that before. Power lines are the devil when it comes to drones. Um, the drone itself has a much better camera. It's I think it's a 4K camera. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a 4K. It doesn't come with an SD card, you're going to want to get your own. It comes with about 8 gigabytes of storage, which is pretty good to start off with, but that's going to eat up real fast if you're filming. The, the drone pretty much flies itself. It's a fold-up drone, which is really nice, so just fold it up. It's, so this one, you're going to want to get registered, unlike this one, because of the weight. It's much heavier, I mean, size difference. This feels like a toy, and this feels like metal but it's plastic, which is pretty impressive. So, the speed is incredibly fast. It's pretty dangerous. Um, I've never really crashed it that much. I think I might have crashed it once, but it fixed itself, which was great. But, so there's two modes on the controller, which I left over there, but that's fine. There's a sport mode, and there's a non-sport mode. Sport mode means that you're like focusing less on filming and just like playing around with it, having fun. And you're gonna want a big open area for sport mode, like. We want to use sport mode in here because it doubles the speed, because it resorts the power from you know filming to putting it all into you know the engines. So yeah, that's a really cool feature. Um, this one is a very cool drone. It's definitely worth it because it's four hundred dollars and this is eight hundred. So the cheaper is probably better because not everyone has eight hundred dollars to spend on a drone. But the nice thing is, if you're looking into getting into drones professionally, like making money off of it. Um, you have to be 16 and you have to get a license to do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the license is like $150 or something. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's the price. Um, but that's going to let you be able to, I'm pretty sure for a year, you can film for other people, like, uh, you know, for people that who want their house to be done so they can put it on the market. That's a great way to make lots of money. Um, I'm probably going to get that license when I turn 16 uh, in two years. <laughs> because it's the end of the year, but yeah, so that's definitely something you would look into. Um, yeah, so that's the DJI Mavic Air.